It's been three weeks since I've uploaded. Oops. Hi everyone, it's Angelina aka The Art of Ends, aka The Italian Virgin of Zay Kane's and Jolie. I hope I have an amazing day. In an abstract way. Sorry, the gremlins in the background are making noise, so just disregard that. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a college Q&A. So just answering questions about what's the campus like? What's the food like? What are the classes like? Do I even like, like? <laughs> So just answering questions like that. Yeah, since I'm wrapping up my first year of college, I should just do a Q&A. Just to start off, I go to RMU, which is a school in Western Pennsylvania. Why did you choose the school? I didn't. <laughs> well, actually. So before I applied to the school, I really didn't know what it was. It was just kind of like RMU. Wow, there's a really good graphic design program, media art, and I think that's why. It's really expensive, so I actually don't know why I'm here, <laughs> but there's a really good program for graphic design, that's my major. Are you happy here? I am. <laughs> no, I, I am happy here. I really like my room, and I have a lot of art in my room. I think that's what, I have a lot of art in my room. I think that's why I'm happy. I just really like this space. I made new friends, learned different things, and I'm happy here. I like the school. I just don't like the tuition. They don't want to see me win. What's your number one complaint about your school? <laughs> My number one complaint would be there's a lot of hills. There's a, like, they could have figured out a way to make it flat. I don't want to hear nothing about no geography. No. They could have made it more flat and then another complaint would be because it's not flat we should be given um miniature cars to ride around with this very expensive tuition we're paying for so i'm pretty sure they can fit that in the budget just ride around with a, a small bucky car <laughs> like a, a freaking smarts car no just smaller just like you know someone for me my book bag you know what i'm saying these stairs are killing me. That's not a big of a deal, but it is at the same time. Those are my complaints. I should really take that to the dean or something. They're not gonna do anything, but it's fine. How accessible are administrators, registrate, registrate, regis, registra. <laughs> you know, just skip that word. Financial aid officers, etc. They're as accessible as a walk you have to go to them like the school would tell you this is where they are da, 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 da. you know some might send out emails but if you need help ask for it not everyone's gonna know you need help if you don't say anything they deal with a lot of students um there's certain people that are more busier than others but they're very accessible what majors are popular funky psychology like what are you gonna do with a psychology degree <laughs> everyone's a psych major everyone's in political science it's like i don't understand or engineering engineering psychology political science communications and criminal justice yeah what departments or programs have the best reputations my school was known for business so definitely the school of business and also media arts, just because everywhere you go in the school, you see something about media arts and we have good things going on. Cause that's from theater to graphic design, photography, like it's all that stuff that you see everywhere. So definitely those two. What's your favorite class? Okay, so I'm a graphic design major, so I take three art graphic design studio classes and i take two that aren't related to my major so i would say intro to graphic design because now i'm getting into like adobe and i really really like it we've been doing some really cool projects which i'm going to do i'm going to do a video on all the art that i made my first year as a graphic design major but i'll definitely say intro to graphic design are your professors good teachers 
honestly, this goes with <laughs> this goes with any college. It all depends on the professor. So some professors would be like good teachers, but they struggle in certain like areas. Like some of them aren't clear in some things. Like they would definitely teach like you're learning, but they'll forget to do this. And it's just like wah wah wah. I'm like why didn't like can you fix yourself? <laughs> Overall, yes, there's just certain things that they do, it's annoying. <laughs> Overall, yeah. Are your classes lecture-based or discussion-based? So it all depends on the professor again. I take, like I said, three studio major graphic design classes and we talk all the time pretty much. There were two classes where the professors weren't asking any questions, love. They talked and listened. <laughs> like, it was, I need to prop my foot up. <laughs> it was strictly like, no raising of the hands. It was like strictly lecture. So it all depends on your professor's teaching styles. Some of them will go hard with the, what is it called? Um, volunteer. <laughs> They used to eat that up in high school, like calm down. How much reading and writing is required in your courses? Like I said, I'm an art major. We don't do too much of that. Look, I've heard people say that they were in 26 page essays. <laughs> I would, I would rather, rather in my hands and clap. <laughs> I don't know what major they are. They're definitely probably like criminal justice, all of that paperworky. I don't know. How often are collaborative work or group presentations required? I've definitely done a couple in a couple of my classes. For my art class, we are now doing a group project. Um, we're doing a sticker festival and we're raising money for wildlife rescue. So that's like a really huge like collaborative project. Half this stuff really just does depend on your professor. Like they can rather make your life fun or miserable or boring. And that's what they did I realized coming to college. How satisfied are you with academic advising? I'm very satisfied. My professors and advisors are very like on top of it. I'm proud of myself for getting on top of courses and all that. This previous registration for the courses for next semester, I was on top of it. Already had my classes ready, emailed my advisor in their like swimwear. And yeah, so I'm very, very satisfied. I rate that a hundred. Where's the camera? I rate that a hundred out of 10. How big are your classes? The biggest I've seen is like 26. But like I said, like I said, I take studio classes, which were really tight knit and small. Um, so that's about like eight. And then there's like large classes, like US history would be like a large class, sociology. That could range to like 24 people. Is it popular to study abroad? It is popular. There's like this huge banner poster if you go like to the hallway leading to like the office build office building offices and stuff there's like go to brazil go to china go to south korea go to italy <laughs> professors are like screaming down your ear constantly about it but they'll definitely mention it i don't know people specifically that have gone that doesn't mean like they don't but it's definitely encouraged there's clear information about it. What's it like to be a first year student here? I think it's, it was a really nice experience. Like I said, the, my first year is about to be over and I really enjoyed it. Me personally, I grew physically, mentally, I grew in art. And this year has really brought out like the artist in me and brought out that I really just love art. <laughs> like I'm obsessed. I met new friends and learned about some people, which I'm gonna say in a college video about people. How much <laughs> how much time do students spend studying per week? <laughs> it's slum to not an answer. No, this is literally going based off of like the hands raised in the class and the, pro the professor asked like, 
how many hours do you study? Did you even study at all? I mean, literally people would say, <laughs> this isn't funny. There's this one boy said, I don't even know. I don't even study for his glass. Like it was just ridiculous. But I would say I'm um, zero to maybe five hours a week do these mugs study. It's sad, but it's reality. Like they could lie, but lying isn't good. What do you do when you're not in class? I mean, you do. <laughs> I do that, man. I make art. I do, I did that, 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 and that all here, that, except for that. But I make art, I make YouTube videos, I educate myself, I chill, I get on TikTok, I, and I grow in God's word. Yeah, I honestly occupy my time. Like, I can never say that I'm bored because I'm an artist. <laughs> Wait, no, I don't get bored. <laughs> Crazy. What do you do on the weekends? So I'm not gonna answer this question based off of me, but basically on the weekends, college students, they go to clubs, they party, they drink, they do all that stuff. Um, right now it's actually a super Saturday <laughs> at my school, which isn't hosted like by the school, but they basically just go out on the volleyball field and just like drink all day. So that's pretty much what they do on the weekends. What kinds of things are there to do in your hometown? This isn't my hometown. Where my school is, isn't my hometown, but it's about like 30 minutes away from my hometown. Now Pitts Campus, where your mom at? Pitts Campus is literally in the city it's in like oakland if you know like pittsburgh oakland it there's stores food places it's integrated with the rest of like the city life so it's just very lively there's museums there's the phipps conservatory there's so much to do i find it so funny how i'm talking about it as if i literally don't live there <laughs> where my school is i can't do anything i can't even cross the road without getting hit there's a bunch of food places but that's about it. Every single weekend, the first semester, I would go home because there's nothing to do. And at least I can like walk somewhere <laughs> at my house and, like, instead of like being trapped here. You get used to it, but there's nothing to do. Like I said, Pitts Campus, Carlo, CMU, they, they're eating with the extracurricular activities and having fun. Here, let's have a car. Actually, no, because a lot of people aren't from around here, so they wouldn't know like the good spots. And I'm not just talking about downtown Pittsburgh, I'm talking about going other places besides downtown. How's the food? <sighs> sometimes she's good, sometimes she's not. I mean, it's college, it's not, we're not at like freaking Ritz Carlton. <laughs> There's times when it really do be snacking, I can't count. Like, I'd be grateful I'm not at home. What is your favorite place on campus? this lovely building right here, which is my school's building for media arts. I love this building so much. It lights up at night. There's a bunch of art in it. It's just, it's the best building. It has the best computers. Cool. <laughs> is it easy to get around campus? What are these doggone hills? It's all fun and games until like you're carrying your book bag and your art portfolio case to the side. It's just, my campus is small. It's so, like, I can't, complaints like the people who literally have to take like transit to like their next class or like bike it's mm -mm. Mm -mm. are sports popular we are a d1 school so you cannot turn your head without seeing like a group of athletes together <laughs> but it's cute she's cute um hockey is definitely popular they booed at the president for taking hockey you know the white people and their hockey it's a whole thing. Is there a lot of school spirit? Yes, there is a lot of school spirit. Why? I don't know, no, I'm just kidding. That's a good thing. That means you love your school. You have to love your school. Yeah. Well, what are you doing? I don't know. Are internships available? Oh yeah, for sure. If you don't get information about internships, then you must be under a rock because professors share it, advisors share it, there's flyers about, I mean, it's literally everywhere. FYSP, which is your first year seminar, 
they talk about it, they get your um, resume together, your on hand take in LinkedIn or whatever. There's definitely internships available. It's just about going after it and applying. I'm just gonna throw this question in there. Is my school a party school? I believe my school is a party school child. They have parties in their dorm buildings, in their rooms, in the apartments, on campus, off campus, child. If they're not going to want on here, they're going in the city, child they party a lot <laughs> so i would say my school is a party school are the students here friendly they are very friendly but they're also just cool i would say um they're definitely not one to just like look at you and stare crazy me personally i've had good experiences people be like oh hi yeah they'll make like small talks they're not like weirdos <laughs> but the people at my school are they're nice friendly chill people is there diversity on the campus slim to none actually none this is a predominantly white school which i've done which i'll put the i thing i've done a what it's like going to the pwi which is a predominantly white institution as a black girl i did a video on that you should check it out check it out Okay, so I fabricated it just a little bit. There is diversity. There are a lot of foreigners, people of different races and ethnicities. You definitely see them, but overall, this is a predominantly white school. How are the dorms compared to other colleges that I've seen and known? They're not that great as far as it's kind of like an older model, so there's no elevators, but the dorm buildings are really small, so you can't, I guess you can't like fit an elevator because like Slippery Rock's dorm buildings, like large space, elevator, like it's a whole thing. Here's just straight steps. Like how do you get your stuff up? You walk up the steps. The narrow hallways, but I can't really complain because I have my own room and it's a large room. So I don't really think every day thinking that these dorm buildings suck. <laughs> they could be better this is the last question do lots of students belong to frats or sororities yes they constantly rep through on their shirts and alpha die yeah there's a lot of people it's mainly white people that belong to frats and sororities you can't turn your head without seeing pink and, and blue and the purples and the, they set up their little tables and stuff Okay, that was the end of the Q&A for school. Hope you enjoyed the video. Mini Puffs. <laughs> Mini Puffs that I would like for you to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and to never, ever, ever, ever forget to be abstract. All right, Mini Puffed? We'll talk to you in the next video, and I swear the next time will not be like three weeks from now.